Hey guys, this is John. I just want to take a quick look here intraday at the markets. And so today I was actually stuck finishing up my book edits. I had to send all the, uh, I, I had finished it up back in at the end of October, but then they read it and then they send back uh, the copy edits and then you got to read through in case they make mistakes. And they did like one time they changed stochastics to sarcastic because they thought that's what I was trying to say and I'd misspelled it. I'm like, oh my God, no, it is a trading book. So um, I've spent the last two days immersed in that. I sent it back. So I think I'm finally done with that, which means that I actually am available to do many more things in my life, which is great. So it's kind of a nice thing to kind of put to rest almost, almost a 2011 uh, task completed. And now I've got a fresh, clean slate for the new year, which I'm excited about. So, um, and of course, one of the things we're doing too is we're just setting up some of these intraday trades that we'll start doing on the managed accounts and just kind of showing you uh, some of the updates here. So today was kind of interesting. There was the first trade today was very simple. This is the, the, these are great. When you get kind of opening chop here, you get a, you get this and you just get the move up to almost retest the Globex highs, which were at 80 or 1280. Uh, from here, we had a squeeze that set up and it looked like it was gonna fire off long. And then the ticks rolled over here pretty decently. And it's kind of a, kind of a choppy mess actually for the rest of the day. You'd think that, oh my God, it was a big day to the upside, but it was pretty choppy. And you can see here, there's just not much that was going on. And then you had some sell programs hit. And for this, um, for this, I just stood aside because you had too much going. You, you had a short squeeze here, but the C wave was kind of mixed. And so I was just sitting there working on the book. Uh, but this squeeze here was pretty nice because the tick structure here was very positive. And if I can actually grab the ticks here again, there we go. So the tick structure here at this point, which was around 12-ish, um, was positive. So you had that squeeze going on. And then you can see here what was happening is you had high tick readings. By the time this fired off, like about 1240 or so, uh, right in here, you had the nice upward slope. And so that was, you know, that was decent. That was, uh, that was kind of a nice little trade. But as, as I was watching this, I, I was looking to see if we could actually get a decent rally to the close. And so right here we did. And at this point, you know, when you get kind of the, the move, you can actually use the lower band as a stop loss and then boom, got stopped for small profit. Uh, but then it was just kind of a sloppy close. I was actually looking that we'd get a pretty decent, uh, decent kind of a close. But then here, once the ticks here into the close, you know, once they get a move like this, it's done. You can't recover from that because that's just real selling going on. So kind of a, actually, so even though the markets were up fairly big today, it was actually just kind of a, a slop and chop day uh, on that. And then the other thing that helped too is this is the five minute chart and I've got Rob's indicators on this and the momentum. And this is something I found that's very, very helpful. So here there was, uh, you can see there was some, uh, as we pulled back into support here at the pivot level, there was some kind of buy side pressure here. And then the market got kind of sloppy. And oh, let me grab this here and kind of move it over. And uh, when I was talking earlier about that squeeze on the 987 tick chart, and I guess actually you should, I should condense this down a little bit so you can see the squeeze. Um, one actually set up here really nicely on, so here's the squeeze on the five minute chart and you had the Rob's, the, the longer term momentum and the shorter term momentum pop up, which was great. And I really, really like it when these just kind of line up together. So you had the squeeze setting up here. Um, you had both the longer and shorter term setting up and you know and this pivot of course is updated one that wasn't from today but it was really kind of a nice just kind of a clean just kind of a pop and and that was pretty nice and then you can see the same thing here when I started getting the short squeeze uh, started getting the setup so when I saw the squeeze setup and started getting um, the longer term the longer term setting up here is let's see here Yep, right there. And again, it's just nice because you just kind of look at that and say, ah, oh, okay, I'm very comfortable just kind of shorting, you know, moves back to the moving averages and stuff like that. And so I just thought that was nice on the five minute chart. It's pretty clean, you know, good way to work there. So Rob and Hubert and I will be in Park City. Uh, I believe Rob and Sarah are there today. I think that uh, they may have ran up the mountain a little too fast. It sounds like they got a little altitude sickness. And then um, I'll be flying out there tomorrow and as will Hubert and, um, for those of you that will be there, we'll start at seven in the morning. And essentially, you know, we're just gonna be looking at kind of the live markets as well as just some stuff that we wanna teach and everything like that. And just kind of a, you know, more of a kind of a mentoring, kind of a casual uh, atmosphere that way. And I don't know if there's any snow there. It doesn't sound like it's been great for snow. I think there's gonna be some like on Friday maybe. Uh, but hopefully
get a chance to go see you as well. All right. Uh, you guys have a great night.